Welcome to George, to Kingswood, and the home of Yakualas, one of the star performers of the 2016 season. Coming home to George is my little happy place, and it's it's definitely is. Uh, like you can see behind me, it's a, a bit of cloud now, but normally on a, on a good day, it's what a view. It's really calming. It's spending time with the kids. Take them out sometimes on the course. We go to the driving range, hit a few balls. They love going on the golf carts, go look around at Kingswood and see what's going on. I haven't been here for a while, so there must be a few new houses that came up. So uh, it's just bringing you back to the roots where you start off and going away from tour life. It calms you down, it just, you rest. You can just rest everything and just stall all over again and uh, get ready for tour again. It gives you time to reflect. Three titles picked up, something he'd never before achieved in one season. It was a pretty good year. It's the first time I've actually won three events in a, in a year. Unfortunately, um, on the money list, it, uh, it's not the best finish I've had, but uh, overall, I'd say it's probably the best year I've had because of the three wins and uh, getting my European Tour card in the end of the year and looking forward to 2017. So much seems to have slotted into place. He's fully aware of his strengths and weaknesses. Up until Wild Coast, I've really been hitting the ball well. I've, uh, I've really played consistently from tee to green and just couldn't get too consolidated on the greens. And um, that week, I just made a few putts, especially the first round shooting 61, which, uh, which is always nice to do that uh, in a tournament. And then to just play really solid the next two days, um, not make a lot of mistakes, never in, in big trouble, it just helps. And then make a few putts, that's, that's how you win tournaments. There were weather delays at Ebotse, meaning an extended final day, something that he'd not experienced for quite a while. It's actually funny, the last time I played more than 18 holes in a day was an amateur golf when we played into prof and we played 36 holes a day for five days. You just got to keep going, you got to keep concentration, you just play for the, for the good misses, because it was a long day, it was hot, it was rainy, it was... You had a, a bit of everything. Um, luckily, not really anybody made a big move to try and catch me at the top, so that uh, that helped a lot. That I didn't have to make a lot of birdies, I could just play solid golf, and that's the golf I was playing at that time. As well as the wins, enormous satisfaction comes from finishing 25th in Spain at the European Tours Q School. Q School is a, a different kettle of fish. It's really a really long week. That's only final stage. I played second stage as well, which was a four day event before that to get into final stage. And I made a nice putt on the last hole to actually make sure I get into final stage. And then uh, getting there, um, it is a long golf course, the main course, the stadium course at Catalunya. It's a, a really long course and it's a demanding golf course. There's not really a hole that you can relax on. You really got to play good for 18 holes. So it's a, it's a long stretch, playing four rounds on that course and then playing two more rounds on the tour course. Six days of golf under that kind of pressure is, uh, is something that you don't really get a lot on tour. And uh, luckily, two years ago, I, uh, I played there as well. So I had a bit of a taste of that, so I could prepare a little bit for that event. But it's, uh, yeah, it's mentally, you just gotta be mentally tough. Uh, physically, I think your body just takes over. Just, you don't really know how much your body can take before you put it through something like that. So um, physically, I was all right. It was just mentally that, that you need to be solid. The way I got it was actually funny because I, when I finished, I wasn't getting the card. I was outside the top 25. And uh, I actually did an interview with the European Tour about not getting the card. And then uh, I, I left the course, I went back to the flat where we were staying. And I got to the flat and um, I looked on the internet, I was actually inside. There were two guys that helped me out that made a few bogeys coming, coming down a stretch. And uh, well, like I say, the rest is history. I got the card, but it's, it's actually still I haven't really sunk in because I haven't really started the European campaign yet. So when we go to Europe, I'll probably go in latest middle of April, I'll probably play my first event. So uh, that's probably when it's going to kick in saying that you're playing on the European tour. He aims to draw inspiration from others who have swiftly made their mark in Europe, like the current world number 18. Good example, 2012 for Brandon Grace. He didn't really have any status, played Joburg Open, won that, won the week after then won another two times in Europe. And from there, he's top 20 in the world. And that's, it happened so quickly, you just gotta, just gotta believe. That's all that golf is. If you can believe and you can work hard at it, uh, you reap the rewards. There's a saying that actually success is never guaranteed by hard work, but failure is guaranteed with no work. I think 
for golf, that is definitely something that uh, that is true in, in, in this funny game that we play. He resolves to continue working hard and the rewards will surely come. I'm really looking forward to it and I'm looking forward to really playing well. To This is the goal I set myself and I got the card and now it's hard work that's going to show. So we, uh, we just got to try and keep going and practice and work hard at it and, and realise that goal. So hopefully this time next year we can sit here with maybe a win or definitely keeping a card and uh, we can see what the 2018 brings us with a full European tour card. His sights are set on a sparkling horizon.